Yo, what's cracking? It's your Uncle Seven Nine, the Spiritual Savage, back with another message here. Um, it's currently 11.30 a.m. on May 31st, 2024. 67 degrees Fahrenheit and cloudy here in Minneapolis. It's going to start storming again here um, all weekend, supposedly, or today and tomorrow. Anyways, but anyway, let's get into this message. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, select the all options so that you know when all my uploads upload. You feel me? All right, we're gonna just getting, getting rid of that witchcraft. It's getting weaker. They're getting weaker. They're melting. They're, they are melting. All right. All right. Let's get it. So I got a download that a Jezebel spirit is searching for her next victim to siphon energy from. Okay. I don't know the, the lighting in here, you guys. I'm, I'm figuring it out. But the groupie. This, so I was putting my what's the tea cards back from my last reading, and this was the only card flipped open flipped over okay um from from that deck uh so we're gonna pull some initials here uh so the, the, what i'm seeing though is that there's somebody that the download that i got let me just say it like this the download that i got um is that there's a feminine energy a female um who is trying to find another victim to kind of siphon energy from now this from all right, I'm getting God bumps here. Uh, this person, uh, it's not, it's not, it, it, it doesn't have to be sexual. Um, it could be. Uh, I'm picking up on the fact that this person does uh, or will uh, engage with someone sexually if it will benefit them in taking or siphoning gifts. I heard siphoning, I heard taking someone's story. So that's like a skinwalker. It's like, like skinwalker energy. The letter S could be very significant. Let's get another one. H. S H. Shh. They're doing this on the low. They're hiding their intentions. Shh. S H O W. No, S H O. I said W. The letter A could be very significant as well. So show. Keep the A out here. N. X. Okay. This could be somebody that, this could be an X. I don't know. Sean. Could be very significant. The name Sean. On another note, I feel like I feel like whoever this person is. Uh, so, like on another note, I feel like what I'm hearing is that this person would go on another note. Shh. So this person talks a lot or gossips. That's what I heard. Let's get the tea. Let's get the rest of the tea on this person. This person could be born the year of the ox. This person could like uh, Nas. Nas could be very significant. What sign is Nas? Alexa, when was the rapper Nas born? Nas was born on September 14th, 1973. Thank you. You are so very welcome. So, Happy Friday. Thank you. We could be talking about somebody that has Libra in their chart. Unbothered. It fell out in the reverse, though. Clarify unbothered. Inside scoop. Closer look. This person gets this person gets very kind of bothered, um, or maybe you get bothered. Maybe you have been bothered by this person. You might feel like this person is a little too nosy. 
because it says a closer look, nosy, all up in your business, up in your business. You, this person could possibly be very intrusive. Uh, this person was going to pretend like they're your groupie. I heard pretend like they are your groupie. They are your groupie, but they but they lay it on thick is what I just heard. We got reflecting here. I heard astral projecting. Like this person could astral project or jackpot. Winning more money, winning money, got rich inheritance, it, unexpected money. Clarify. Photo proof evidence, getting evidence. This person is spiritually spying, like. Never has the facts, makes shit up and lies. This person does. This person does a lot of lying. This person is hurt, sad, or upset about something. Or maybe this person has upset you, crying over you. We got hooked here. Clarify hooked. I feel like the, you see this image here. I feel like this person has hooked a number of different people like this. This person does a lot of lying. This person may come to you while you're crying or upset or hurt. Because I'm telling you, this person pretends like they're a very good friend or comes off like that anyways uh, from the energy I'm picking up on from what I'm seeing. Spirit is telling you, please don't ignore this, this warning. Okay? This person doesn't like to be ignored either. One more. What's the team? Weekend vibes here. Dust it off. Clarify dust it off. I know I said one more, but we're just going to get another one here. Clarify dust it off. What's the tea? This could be somebody you work with. Uh, so back to the energy siphoning. This person is some, is it like it has an impersonator kind of vibe here? Caught a case, sexual infection, sexual disease, rash, etc. Spiritually transmitted diseases as well. This person could have a uh, some type of disease or caught a case of the disease. Wants to be like you, acts like you, dresses like you, likes you, cop look look like or copies you. This person likes to drink. You may possibly use drugs. Always partying. I'm hearing that they do this, but they don't, they lie about it. They don't, they're not telling the truth here. You want to see what you would look like if you were an alien? That's exactly what I would look like if I was an alien. That's what I heard the other day when I did that. So this is like leering energy, like the cats, the slanted eyes. Uh, so this is in no way, shape or form people. I'm not giving them, doing a racist joke. We're not doing that around here. But that's what I heard. When I went like this the other day, I was like, man, that looked kind of alien-like. Yeah, leering. That's what I heard. Okay. Uh, I think slanted eyes are sexy. I just do. Side note here, can we please, can people please stop doing blackface, okay? It's very disrespectful. I seen some shit the other day and I'm like, what? Somebody, I feel like people do the shit for views and clicks though. I really do because we live in such a day and age where people should know better than do some shit like that. Come on now, stop doing blackface. For you fuck around and really get a black face, a black eye or some shit, okay? That movie that, that showed the feed that I was watching again, it, it also talks about that, too, like how people will go to links to do things just for clicks and views and money. This person could be one of those people. Now that I'm thinking about it, hell, I don't know. 
This could be somebody with a, you know, a social media presence. Because the image, the image that I'm seeing in my mind, I'm seeing like a, the, the face of this person, okay? Uh, this is somebody that's black or African-American, however melanated, however you want to look at it. I don't know. Take your pick. They black, okay? But I'm seeing like somebody slithering around. You know, you know how people just kind of, sl it's very sneaky, very slick, like a Jezebel. What's the, what's the other, uh, the, the Leviathan? So the Leviathan I just heard? Alexa, tell me, Alexa, tell me about the Leviathan. The Leviathan is a legendary sea monster of Slavic folklore, depicted as a huge, serpentine creature with tusks and a bat-like wingspan. In Slavic mythology, the Leviathan is said to be the ruler of the underwater realm and is often associated with water, <coughs> storms, and floods. It is also considered a symbol of the power of nature and is often depicted as a threat to humans in folk tales. <coughs> uh. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Alexa. The Leviathan in the Bible. The Leviathan spirit. Let me type that in. Leviathan spirit. The spirit of the Leviathan is a demonic force that affects individuals and communities with pride, manipulation, and division. It is based on a biblical concept of a sea creature or serpent that lies and breaks covenant. That breaks covenants. The spirit of the Leviathan can manifest in a different ways, such as religious pride, seeking control or power, or in instigating relationship division. To deal with the spirit of Leviathan, we must recognize its presence and humble ourselves before God. So, what did I hear during that? Um, that this person uh, likes to break up relationships, likes to come between partners, likes to come between family members and friends, or any kind of relationship um, so that they can have uh, this control so that they can continue to keep siphoning energy. Let's get one more here. So we're talking about a Leviathan Jezebel spirit, a sewer maiden energy, okay? Wasting time, stuck, no changes. This person is stuck until they find their next victim. They like to come towards people who are winning so that they can cock block, possibly with your creativity, steals your, this person could be stealing your ideas um, this person could also uh, have some issues with child services. This person is very fake. This person appears to be, like, pretends to be your friend. All right. So that, enough with that. Let's get a state card out here and see where we're going. Where we're going. This person could be going to this state. This person could be from this state recently. You know, however that works for you guys here. Buddy. All right, we got the state cards out here. I'm gonna set these to the side, keep the energy out here anyway. And then I'll pull a, um, one of the uh, cards over there that um, could talk about a sign. Like maybe possibly a sign or maybe your sign. This is definitely a warning for us. I've been hearing it for the last three days. I've just been kind of letting it marinate. Maryland, the old line state. Okay, you could be from Maryland. They could be from Maryland. Maryland could be very significant. We also have New York at the bottom of the deck as well. So we got New York and Maryland. Um, the Empire State. So th those states could be very significant to this download, okay? take the energy as it resonates. Can I get a sign, please? Just one sign card out here, or however many you're going to give us, spirit. All right. We got the Wheel of Fortune out here. That's, I believe the Wheel of Fortune is like, it's a fixed sign. So this person could be a fixed sign. Fixed sign energy, but this person is about Sagittarius energy. The karmic Sag a karmic Sagittarius and a feminine, I told you. Coming along to create endings or death. Or maybe uh, this person could, could be 
this in. We got death and then we got El Juicio. Okay. This feminine energy, this, I'm telling you, it's just, it's, so let's say for instance, this is somebody that I'm here. These are, these are, this is what I'm hearing. Likes to ride coattails. Okay. So if you are in a winning season, this person would, likes to be around people that are winning to siphon their energy. Um, I don't really, I'm picking up on the fact with this, uh, with the death out here, uh, this, this feminine energy causes endings because that's their energy, El Juicio. Uh, I don't know. We don't like what I'm feeling here. I don't like, well, let's use the after tarot deck for this message here. So we could be talking about a Sagittarius here, or somebody that's a heathen. I mean, take the energy out of the right name. Somebody that could be ill. Tell us more about this person. I think we got enough about this person. What else do you want us to know, Spirit? Cups in the reverse. Queen of Pentacles. One more. Five of Swords. I'm telling you, this person is. So. There's some type of uh, lies or illusions that, that this person cannot uphold. Uphold here about their business, what they do for business, or how they've been maintaining their business is what I just heard. Some type of illusion is about to be revealed, or secret is about to be revealed, or people are seeing through the illusions of this person, um, and how they they compete. This person has made their living by competing with other people that they pretended to be friends with, is what I heard. <laughs> King of Pentacles in the reverse. Yep. To the Two of Cups in the reverse. Breaks up covenants. This person could be paid by some type of, uh, you know, a lot of people. So I, it is so irritating to me because we have keep having this conversation. But I, I, I really feel like it's it's very important for people to have awareness about these principalities or these covens of people or these groups of people. A group of people, I'm going to just start saying group of people unless I specifically hear like coven or secret society because um, I feel like when we use words like coven or secret society, people immediately, uh, you know, uh, turn off their ears because it sounds like conspiracy theory kind of stuff. And yeah, you know, I don't mind switching up the verbiage so that people can, uh, you know, better receive the message. It's not a lie. I'm just using different words. So when we talk about groups of people, there are definitely groups of people who target very particular people who may seem to be successful, who may seem to be spiritually enlightened, who may seem to have a lot of money or just have a very good energy about them or have gifts or talents that they don't have themselves. There are groups of people literally that sit around and figure out ways that they can have a come up. It's no different. It's no different than when you see people that sit around and plot and plan on people to rob. You know what I'm saying? They, they scope people out. They see how people live. They see the kind of bag, kind of clothes people wear. They see what kind of drive, uh, kind of cars that people drive. They see the hustle about people. And, and I've seen where people have sat down and they go, yeah, that, 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 they, that motherfucker seem to be doing very well for themselves. They're not just talking about it because they want to go congratulate a person. They're talking about it because they want to take what that person has or there's some type of envy or jealousy there. You feel me? This person could also be working with a, a king of pentacles here. It could be two people. There's some type of relationship here that's very karmic. Maybe a bad business, a bad business covenant, a bad business agreement. 
but there 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 is some King of Pentacles in the reverse that um, this Queen of Pentacles, this Sagittarius energy in the reverse, has some type of partnership with or had. Take the energy as it resonates. But I told you this person is hiding. What is this person hiding or clo cloaking? I'm, I'm, it, it's to me. It's like this person is okay. You see the lantern. This person is, and they're pretending to be a friend. But they're hiding. They're hiding. They're hiding themselves in the in the uh, hiding in the wings. What you know? You know that saying? Page of Cups to make an offer, a fishy cup offer. This person. I'm telling you. What did I say? This person is sitting around, watching, spying, peering on people to make an offer. They, they want to. They want to make an offer. Tell us about this Page of Cups offer. Please work with me. Let's work together. Let's do something together. Let's collaborate. That's the offer. Fishy cup offer. Queen of Cups. In the reverse. They don't mean it. They, they're going to say they, they're coming across like they love you. This person doesn't love you. They just want to, 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 to collaborate with you. To plant bad seeds. To, to take your seeds that you've planted and create some type of ending for you. Okay? To lay something to rest for you. Yeah, something about work. They want to take your work. They want to take your investments. They want to take everything that you work for. They want to claim it. It's empress in the reverse. Feminine energy, I'm telling you. Anything else? This person likes to use div this person is a divinator. I'm telling you, this person spirit first of all, spirit is saying don't don't move forward with this person, okay? Uh, if you move forward with this person, you will not be protected. You're, you, I, I feel like for whatever, what I don't, I don't know how all of this works. I'm going off of like, you know, what I'm hearing, but also what I do know. Uh, this person, like it says, it breaks covenant. So this person will come along for you to break whatever kind of. Pro there's, there's some type of reneging that occurs when you agree to work with this person. That's Jezebel spirit. That's like a Leviathan energy, a succubus energy as well. To keep to sacri I'm telling you, this person likes to do magic. This is something that this person divinates in the darkness to sacrifice people in a spiritual sense. I don't feel like this person does it on a physical level. I feel like it's all done in spirit with dark magic. Yeah, to betray you. Yep, major endings with the tower here through karmic friendships. Yep, and bad judgment. I'm trying to tell you with this page of pentacles in the reverse, spirit is saying that it's a bad offer. This person is under heavy judgment, and so are their friends too. They're, I'm telling you that they're, they're. This is. I heard that this that they do this all the time. They. I just heard they this time, but specifically, this is a warning for somebody from this feminine, this feminine energy, this Jezebel, this Leviathan, this succubus energy, is a warning for you. This person is a part of a group of people that do this all the time to people. People, you know, even myself sometimes, you know, I'm not surprised by anything anymore. But, you know, a lot of times I do sit and I go, get the, f yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? <laughs> I do. I definitely do. I'm always like, yeah, I don't know about that, Dwayne. You know, uh, that's that's called using your discernment, you know. And so I'm always kind of like, yeah, people really do that? Yeah, they definitely do it. Otherwise, why would I be hearing it, you know? But. There are people, okay, so say say, say that, the, uh, this is just the example that I have. So let's say, for instance, that there is a music company that is looking for new artists. Because I feel like this is, I feel like this, this kind of needs to be explained, like how people really do stuff. Excuse me. Um, I don't like to take medication, y'all. I, I have really bad reactions to medication, so I don't really generally use medication. It's, you know, the body, our bodies can really generally do, unless it's something very serious, our bodies can do um, most of the repair work we need. You feel me? Uh, with natural products as well. So maybe I'll look into something very natural, okay? Because it's starting to get on my nerves. But, you know, record companies or people that are into music or, you know, whatever. People might be looking for new talent. People that are scouting for new talent. 
Do you not believe? Do you not think that people scour the internet looking for that next, that next big, that big, that next big star get, to give somebody their big break? There are people that are that divinate in the darkness that don't have that don't have very specific gifts that scour the internet, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, whatever confirmation. They do do this, uh, and they look for people that they can steal gifts from. Same difference, because why would anybody want to steal gifts to make money, to exploit, to, to to take a gift and exploit it to make money? A lot of people do that. That's why you get a lot of people who are fake tarot card readers, fake spiritualists, fake motivational speakers. You got all these fakers out here, and they're only doing it for the money. But that doesn't. But there's something of this. It's about it's about the energy that people steal. You can get. Take for instance, like a song. Okay, I thought about this the other day too. Like the national anthem. There we go. The national anthem. You got ten people singing the national anthem all at the all at, around the same time, you know, same week or whatever. There's gonna be, you know, anybody can sing the national anthem, but who are people? Confirmation. But who are, who are people going to? This person could be a singer, or want to sing, or something like that. But I feel like, who's gonna? I mean, who would you rather watch sing the national anthem? Whitney Houston or Roseanne Barr? I don't know because you remember when she did that. You know what I'm saying? So it's just kind of like that. There are people that go, well, I want to be I want to be able to sing like Whitney Houston. I want to be able to do this like that person. And they don't have it so that they, they siphon the gifts or ride the coattails of people that do until you're no longer useful. Until or maybe or, or maybe until they siphoned all the energy out of you or kept or kept a lot of drama going. I'm hearing. To where if they can't basically like if you can't have it, neither if they can't have it, neither will you. So there's there's a very destructive kind of energy about this person. One more. Queen of Wands in the reverse. I'm telling you, this person is a witch. A dark witch. A witch bitch. This person has a lover that they do this with, uh, an emperor in the reverse. Could have Leo in their chart, or Aquarius in their chart, or Gemini. Yeah, they do. This emperor, by the way, is confirmation. This emperor is very well known by people as well. Yikes, the Nine of Swords, oh wow. The nine of wands at the bottom of the deck. Something about jail. I cannot make this shit up. Clarify the uh, nine of wands. That's jail energy. Somebody could be going to jail or already in jail, or whatever the case may be. But there are two people here, so somebody could really be going to jail, or somebody could be like in spiritual in spiritual jail. Uh, Somebody's in spiritual jail. The moon here. Spirit says, and that is, is a truth. The king of swords. Six of Cups in the reverse to the Nine of Cups. Yeah, don't do it. Partnerships. Now, this could be somebody. This could be. I just. So this could be bad news. I'm telling you. Or you don't talk to this person. Or you shouldn't be talking to this person. But the Page of Wands in the bottom of the deck. For the. So we got the Six. The Six of. Whoever this is now, I feel like we, I feel like this message may hit us a, a few people because we're getting I'm getting picking up on a lot of different stories here. But one of these, but what I just heard from this last these last cards that came out, this person is in spiritual jail. This person's gifts are on lock. Okay, uh, I just heard their sentence has been handed out with this El Juicio. That could be it with the with the Empress Empress to the death to the El Juicio. 
uh, Empress, the Empress energy talks about fem the divine feminine energy, creativity, psychic abilities, compassion, you know, femininity, all those different kind of things. The spirit has put a death to this person's divine feminine energy. You feel me? This person's in spiritual jail. Mm -hmm. Somebody, one of y'all used to be friends with this person or be in a relationship with this person, okay? You have bad, bad memories with this person? Six of The Six of Cups in the reverse to the Knight of Cups? No. This person uh, is going to come towards you. I told you, this person is going to come towards you to offer some type of apology because you guys are like this now, the Two of Cups in the, the Two of the two of Wands in the reverse. Yeah. You're not moving forward with this person. You cut this person off. That's the title card here. Yeah. You ended it with this person. Spirit is telling you to keep it like that. Do not talk to this person. Spirit says that is the truth. Okay, again, death. <laughs> this, this, this person's in spiritual jail. That's the reason why they wanted to holler at you. They're heavily, I cannot make this up. There's a lot of endings out here. This person creates a lot of endings for people. Uh, but Spirit says, stop, don't talk to this person. This person is in jail. This person is in spiritual jail. They, they, there's no transformation. This person's not going to be able to, and that's why they're heavily burdened. 10, 10 endings, baby. Okay. One more card here and I'm closing out the message. We got 12 on one on the clock when I look down. So that is Sagittarius. So that's person's birthday could be December 1st. Doesn't have to be. So, not a pentacles here in the reverse. Somebody very disloyal. Yep. Disloyal. That's this person doesn't have anything coming in because they're disloyal. Uh, one more. Yes, the fool in the reverse. Don't fuck with this person. You're the star energy. See? You're shining brightly. This is about energy siphoning. This person um, makes a lot of foolish decisions. This person has a lot of a lot of false starts because they're not loyal. Uh, this person with the with the three of with the three of wands in the reverse, this person also depends that people depends on people being loyal to them. For them to bring things in as well spirit says that that is the truth okay with the ace of with the ace of pentacles at the bottom of the deck any more anything else here what about this emperor yeah giving and receiving here the seven of one this emperor that she was that she that she works with or used to work with or something like that this karmic emperor here, he stopped giving and receiving with her too because she he realized that she was blocking things for him. Yeah, he did. He's karmic in a motherfucker too, though. He keeps coming out in the reverse. One more. Yep. I'm telling you, he detached from her. This this person could have easily. Yeah, they used to have well, whoever this person is used to have they used to have a family together or used to be ten of cups together. Spirit says that's the truth here. Uh, just, damn, I just heard that. So this masculine energy, if this story resonates with you, <clears throat> this masculine energy, um, she got this masculine. She 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 turned this masculine energy very karmic with the Jezebel spirit, the Leviathan spirit, and the succubus energy that she has. She turned this masculine very karmic. Mm -hmm. Final message from the uh, Rebel Oracle deck. Final message for this with this Rebel or for the, with the uh, final message. I had too much too many cups two cups of coffee this morning. So, the final message from the Rebel Oracle deck. detox drink a smoothie unfriend that asshole and throw out some shit so if you're friends with this person you need to detox from this person <sighs> nissan's i don't i don't like nissan cars anymore 
Um, have you eaten? You are acting like a big ass baby. You need some food in your belly. Eat a fucking taco. Maybe you're hungry. I don't know. Maybe you're not eating. Anything else? One more? Thank you. You are going through some tough shit. <clears throat> Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired ass up and handle it. If you are going through any, if like if you're not eating, if you're going through a tough time, if you're a hot mess, you look like a shit show, okay? Shit could be so much worse. Get over that shit. What are we, what are we hearing from these last cards? Shit, shit, shit. This person is projecting that project, that person, that idea is waiting. That person is siphoning your energy. That's the reason why you're feeling maybe tired. Maybe you're not eating. Maybe you are feeling sick. It's because this person is a parasite. It's time to cut this person off. This person is full of shit. Literally. I can't believe these cards came out like that. You're going through some shit. Another shit show. A lot of shit's going on, okay? I don't like this kind of energy, man. I'm definitely jumping in this spiritual shower after this. I got I heard you, okay? But that is the end of this message. I'm closing out the reading. Make sure you light some damn sage. Light some... Uh, Palo Santos, burn some incense, some frankincense. Do whatever you got to do at this point. Uh, not, you know, not like that. Don't be afraid, but be mindful, though, because I'm still seeing this person. Like, this person is slithering around all the time. I guess the only way to stop a snake is to cut the head off, but since we can't do that to people, you have to do that spiritually. So maybe you need to cut some cords with this person. Maybe you need to, you know, take up this long spiritual bath. But overall, you're not going to be able to uh, disconnect from this person unless you disconnect from this person by not talking to this person or cutting them off, keeping them uh, not Don't even feed them with a long handed spoon. You feel me? Like stop feeding this person, period. But the one thing, um, if you're not connected to this person, be on the lookout or you may have even noticed this person who may be like poking around you, whether that be online, your home, maybe sending you text messages, maybe you got an email from this person. But whoever you are, uh, this person is only coming along to uh, best you or to stab you in the back or to compete with you by siphoning your gifts. OK, I just heard if business is starting to slow up for you, if people aren't talking to you anymore, uh, your money's funny. It's this person. And, and to you, it's going to look like, well, if they were doing that, they'd have a lot more. But no, it's not even about that. A lot of times I, with this kind of with the Jezebel energy, with the Leviathan energy, it's all about it's all about just destruction. It has nothing to do with this person taking your energy and doing anything with it because this person has a multitude of false starts. I just heard. So I just feel like they take it just to have it just so you don't have it. Jealousy, you know. It's like somebody. That doesn't know how to drive cars, but once, but takes everybody's licenses. They don't drive. They don't know how to drive. That's that's the that's what came to my mind. This person doesn't know how to drive, but they would much rather if they don't. And, and, and that's the crazy part. They don't know how to drive. They've tried to learn how to drive, but they can't drive. So they just don't want anybody else to do it. Does that make sense? You feel me? That's what I'm picking up. But that's the end of this message. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, select the all options so that you know when all my uploads upload. You feel me? I'm your Uncle 79, the spiritual savage. Remember, you grow, I grow, I grow, you grow, we grow together. It's only love and light around this bitch. As always, take it easy. I love you. To the moon and back. Deuces.